In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of the book Bullies and Saints by John Dixon. And stay with me to the end because I want you to hear from John himself what he told me about who he had in mind when he wrote this book so you can see if it's right for you. Now, hey, if we're just meeting, I'm your apologetics guy, Mikkel. I help Christians get clear answers to tough questions, and I also do a few resource reviews that can help you have better spiritual conversations with people who see Christianity differently. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Now, before we dive into my review, I've got to show you this promo pack that I got from the publisher. Claim your free audiobook. Wow. Oops. I'm going to have to black out that code so no one else can take my thing. Okay, let's see. Now, we also have postcards. Do good to those who hate you. Christ makes the rest of us look bad. Wow, these are really cool. And <laughs> we got a coaster, a bookmark, and something to scan. What is this? Ready to read Bullies and Saints? Engage your senses as you read by listening to the accompanying playlist John Dixon created himself. So here's the book proper, and the book itself, Bullies and Saints, an honest look at the good and evil in Christian history. I'll tell you what I liked about this is that one, he doesn't try to cover over or excuse the evil things that have happened in church history. Two, he shows the problem isn't power per se, but it's when Christians aren't staying true to the teachings of Jesus. And I think he's right. Um, his end notes are a treasure trove of primary sources that can really help you in looking into church history for yourself. But now I want you to hear from John himself. Here's what he told me about who he had in mind when he wrote this book. Watch this part from a Zoom call that I did with him for the Table Podcast. As I wrote the book, I had my skeptical friends in mind more than Christians. The times I had Christi Christians in mind uh, were, were times like where I'd be in the depths of describing some terrible things that, say, fourth century Christians did in riots and destroying property in Alexandria <laughs> at the end of the fourth century. I'd be writing about that, and then I'd stop and I'd think, ah. Oh, I bet, I bet my Christian friends are going to think I'm letting the team down now. Hmm. You know, I was doing such a good job of telling you how awful these Christians were mm -hmm. that, I, that I had to stop and think, oh, look, I don't want to unnecessarily <laughs> upset my Christian friends. But, but my, my account is, look, Jesus said, take the log out of your own eye. Mm -hmm. you know, don't look at the speck in someone else's eye. Take the log or plank out of your eye. Mm -hmm. And the book is, a, is an attempt to do that through mm -hmm. Christian history. Now, this is not a sponsored video, but I did get this book for free from the publisher, and it's $15.70 on Amazon. The Kindle version is just $3.99, and you might still be able to get the audio free on Audible. And hey, if you're getting some value from this video, please hit that like button so that more people can see it. And also, I want to link to the book and the audiobook below so you can check them out and see if it's right for you. I'm your apologetics guy, Mikkel, and until next time, keep the faith.